I have had the worst brain fog. Maybe a little bit of early nesting. Baby's heartbeat is nice and strong. Overwhelming sense of gratitude. There's hardly any snow left. This has to be the biggest grocery trip. school lesson for the day and all of a sudden the sun started pouring through the windows and I just had like a flashback of when oh, hold on when we first moved in to this house walking through the kitchen for the first time and just having this overwhelming feeling of being at home we knew without a doubt that this was gonna be our home and um I just got an overwhelming sense of gratitude and I'm just so thankful we can get so caught up in life and in the mundane and the everyday moments and the hardships that we lose sight of what we have a ray of sunshine coming in was just like God filling my heart with this thankfulness and this gratitude and reminding me of of all the many, many blessings, and yeah. does that ever happen to you where you just get like this overwhelming sense of gratitude and whew, puts your heart in the right place? Anyway, good morning. <laughs> Welcome to today's vlog. Did not uh, plan on starting today's vlog crying, but there you go. Starting the day off um, in prayer prayer of thankfulness, praying over our home, over uh, my husband and my children, my family, over this baby, over everything, my friends, family, um, whatever the Lord lays on my heart is such a beautiful way to start the day and it really, really gets my heart in the right place. I know so often we can get so caught up in the frustrations, you know, the little frustrations, the whining, the tantrums, the crying, all the things that we have to do. It feels like we're unseen or unappreciated. Um, I mean, I know as moms, I can often feel that way, but God sees and God knows. And getting my heart in the right place, just spending time with him and talking to him and that is the best way to start my day because it really just like gets me in the right place. Whew. The heart of thankfulness instead of a heart of um, anger and frustration and bitterness and the sun is getting really strong, hold on. Anyway, I'm gonna take you with this week throughout the week instead of just filming one day because we have a crazy week ahead of us. Like our schedule is filled to the max. There is something happening every day except for today. So today is the one day I'm trying to really get stuff done around the house. I've got some bread going because making sourdough bread is a long process and today is the only day that I actually have enough time to do it. So I need to get this done. I've been trying to make a sandwich loaf at least once a week. Uh, trying to make enough so that we don't have to buy any. Not quite at that point yet, especially in these really busy weeks when I honestly just don't have the time to do it. But I'm trying. And so obviously I'm going to take you throughout the week this week because there's just so much happening. Like a lot of social events we're invited to, a lot of different things with family and friends. And um, it's going to be great. It's just going to be busy. So this is the easiest thing for me to do. Yeah. 
William's been showing such an interest in books lately and he's been requesting to go to sleep with a book and we'll come into his room and just see him like hanging out awake reading his books. Do you love books? That's good. That's so good. Mama's turn to get ready. No. Yeah. Do you want some? Yeah. Okay. Mommy. Can you do that? You do that. I want to say a huge thank you to Dime Beauty for sponsoring today's video. Dime Beauty falls under the category of one of my top favorite brands. I never used to be a skincare person. I never understood it until I tried it. A few months ago, I started using a few of Dime Beauty's products to see what all the hype was about because I had heard so much good stuff about them. And I was so excited about them too because they have clean ingredients, no harsh chemicals, they're vegan and they're cruelty free. So I thought if I'm gonna try skincare, this is the perfect place to start. I am so happy with Dime Beauty and the products and the difference that I have seen in my skin. I actually ran out of a couple of my most favorite products a couple weeks ago. Um, and so I wasn't using them for a couple weeks while I was waiting for the new stuff to come in and I could visibly see and feel the difference in my skin. So I'm so excited that they're back. The first thing I reach for when I start my skincare routine is my Hyper Glow Serum. This is a 20% vitamin C serum. It helps to lighten dark spots and even complexion, which aside from just dryness in my skin, this is my number one complaint because I have such pale, pale, pale skin. Next, I reach for my Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This helps to boost, hydrate, and really lock in moisture. If you live in a dry climate like I do, this is just so, so necessary. It feels so good on my skin. Next, I'll go in with my Dewy Day Cream. This is the perfect everyday lotion. It doesn't smell like anything. I hate lotions that have a strong scent and it doesn't feel greasy. Um, and it feels so nice and gentle and moisturizing on my skin. And then the last step for my morning skincare routine is the Wonder Screen from Dime Beauty. This is a clean mineral sunscreen. Again, it doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't have a scent. As the weather starts to warm up, I need to be a lot more diligent about putting sunscreen on my skin. And so when it's part of my skincare routine, it's easy for me to remember and I don't forget about it all the time. That's all I'll do for the morning. And then at night, I'll do the same thing, but then I'll also go in with the Luminosity Eye Serum. This helps to increase blood flow to the area to help your skin reduce the appearance of dark circles and puffiness. Using all these products together on a regular basis, I like that my skin just looks fantastic. Even when we were so sick about a month ago, I wasn't getting any sleep. I was not feeling well. I was taking care of sick kids, but my skin still looked incredible. I couldn't believe it. Like I didn't feel the way that my skin looked. The stuff does wonders. So I do have a code for you. You can use my code Delilah20 to get 20% off of your order. The code will automatically be applied when you click the link in the description box. It'll take you to a landing page. Uh, where all of my personal favorite products are listed. Again, thank you so much for Dime Beauty for sponsoring today's video. Take advantage of that 20% off because like this stuff is life changing. Hi. Look at this cute little curl. Yeah, look at that. It keeps sticking out. I can't comb it. This is the curl I'm going to keep when we cut your hair. And I'm going to save it in a baby book. Okay, now that we're all ready, let's get some jackets and boots on and let's get going. We have had a Costco membership since we were married. I think even before we were married. But we've had a Costco membership for a long time because we grew up shopping at Costco and so we're just, we're very familiar with Costco. Anyway, we used to go every single week and then we had more kids, life got more busy. Mommy. We started going every two weeks and now we've realized, you know what? It actually makes more sense if we maybe just go once a month do a massive, massive grocery shop because we do have a cold storage downstairs. We do have a deep freeze, so we are able to like buy in bulk and then store these foods 
in our freezer and in our pantry area. So then we only have to go once a month and then we always have food in stock. So that is what we're doing today. This is our first massive grocery trip. I have made a huge list over the weekend. I went through our deep freeze. I went through our cold storage and our pantry. I made a huge list of things that we usually buy from Costco, things in bulk, even things like batteries because it's a lot cheaper at Costco when you can buy it in bulk like this. We are preparing to have a massive bill by the end of this. <laughs> but then we'll also be stocked up for a while. Business expense. Right. <laughs> what are the four rules? Five rules. Five rules? Okay, tell me the five rules. Okay, one is stick up to mommy, look both mm -hmm. ways, listen to mommy. Mm -hmm. And daddy. And no screaming in the store. Perfect. When Maria, don't okay. beg. Don't beg. Yeah, that's a good rule. Don't <laughs> beg She's coming up with the rules for me. This has to be the biggest grocery trip I think we've ever done. Like, <laughs> we really stocked up. Most of this stuff is going to end up in our deep freeze or in the cold storage downstairs. Things like breads are gonna go in the deep freeze. Meats are going to be divided up into individual like meal portions and then stored in the freezer. Most of what we got was meats and then like dry goods like pastas, breads. We got a lot of cheeses, a couple quick meals, crackers, snacks, things that we bought. Applesauce. Lots of cucumbers so I can make my pickle recipe. Lots of noodles because noodles don't go bad. Beef burgers and salmon burgers. The two quick meals we got are our yakisoba and pot stickers. These are actually really good, like clean meals, and they're delicious. Ooh, Bagels, right. bread for the times when I can't make my own. Breakfast sausage. Okay, I'll hold it up and you say it. How about that? Okay. okay. Breakfast sausage, chicken breast. Whisper it because we want to do it. Chickens. Hot chicken. Hot chicken. Whole chop chicken. Try again. Hot. Hot chicken, chicken. Chicken. Brown chicken. Baby. Rice. chicken broth. William, say matzah. Say that. Say Rice pudding. Cheese. Cheese. Avocado, olive, bread. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
really bad before. The basement is one of those areas that we just kind of let go because we, we're hardly down here ever. Um, this is more so a place for the kids to come and play when they just need more space to run around. And we're Mommy so grateful. I did. We're so grateful to have this space. Um, and eventually, one day down the road, this whole basement's gonna be gutted and reframed to add more bedrooms for the kids. But for now, we're using it exactly as it is and it is so much better. I think it's a mixture of like the spring weather, maybe a little bit of early nesting because Good all- baby in mommy's tummy. All I wanna do right now is just clean and declutter and organize and we make our home. She organized. The kids wanna help organize too. So this is one project I am very happy to finally cross off of my to-do list. And then this was also another giant project. I threw out a lot of expired stuff. This is our deep freeze. I filled it up with the meats and some of the other stuff that needed to be frozen right away. I'm gonna add some like breads and bagels and stuff in here yet too. We actually got this deep freeze as a wedding gift from Zach's grandparents and it has been incredible. I would love to one day have like an upright one so it's not like everything just thrown in and digging around in there all the time. Um, but for now, this is fantastic. So we're gonna finish filling it up and then the rest of the stuff we're going to find a spot for on our shelf. This shelving system was in here when we bought the house. And so we've just kind of adopted it into our own uh, use. My goal is to slowly build a really good stockpile down here. So when I see, for example, canned goods on sale, I'm gonna go ahead and buy extra and create a stockpile just so that we always have food on hand. Our cold storage has never been this full and it feels so good. So we have uh, things like spreadables, canned goods, mostly like pantry items here, as well as some baking goods like sugar, cocoa powder, salt, stuff like that. Up top we have some cleaning supplies and medicine and stuff. Here we have like snacks, crackers, chicken broth, rice. We have drinks here. Down here we have potatoes. These ones are for eating, these ones are for planting. And then the rest of this is like party supplies, extra jars. So our cold storage is all stocked up. Our freezer is all stocked up like that feels awesome. With this baby on the way, our goal is to be able to maintain the stock and to keep it this way so that when the time comes for this baby to be born, we will have plenty of food on hand. Hello, hello, welcome to Wednesday. I am alone right now. I just came from a prenatal appointment. I feel like I have a prenatal or an appointment every single week because of this pregnancy. I have another appointment next week. I think that has to be the fastest appointment I've ever had. My doctor, she's a very busy lady. I love her so much, she's the best. Um, but her appointments are usually you know there's a lot of wait time because she's busy she's got a lot going on and she actually like sits and listens to your concerns and she doesn't like rush you along or make you feel like you're just another number she actually cares and that's so lovely and because of that sometimes appointments take long but i was in and out within 30 minutes which is awesome i feel like i have all this free time now so i am at once upon a child and plato's closet <laughs> I feel like I do this every single time I have an appointment, but I mean my kids have just grown like crazy like all my kids suddenly just grew four inches and I have to try and find them a whole new wardrobe So that's what we're doing today 
definitely brought a bag of Easter candy with me. Anyway, baby's heartbeat is nice and strong. Everything looks good. I gained a lot of weight in the last month. Totally okay. I'm someone who never uh, weighs myself. The number on the scale can play tricks in my head and I can become very focused on the number and um, it's not good for me. So I don't weigh myself, um, but I mean, I'm growing a baby. That's to be expected. That's what needs to happen and it's all good perfectly healthy everything is well but I do need to find some clothes for the growing body and the growing belly so let's go see what we can find Look at this adorable pile of clothes. I got some good stuff at Once Upon a Child. Didn't find anything for myself. Did find some things for Zach. So we found stuff for every member of the family, including this baby. I couldn't help myself. I did buy a few things. These are some of my favorite hats on the boys. Like they wear them so well. So when I can find one that fits, I buy it. And that one is yours. Can William you? had these You're overalls last year and I found a mini version and they're so cute. So I bought those for the baby. We don't know the gender of the baby so I did end up buying a couple boy things, a couple or one girly thing. If we don't use them, I can just give them to someone who will. But I found this little set. I thought it was so cute. It looks almost vintage and it has a matching bucket hat to go with it. Got these little yellow linen pants. They look like Cornbread. <laughs> yeah, they like cornbread. They do look like cornbread. <laughs> cornbread pants. That's what we got for the baby. And then these. These are so cute. Strawberry pants. They look like cornbread. <laughs> they do. Yeah, they look cornbread pants. William got a little shirt. I love the red and white stripe. And then we found a ton of jammies, which is exactly what they needed. So we got some whale ones for Theo, car ones. Superhero ones. Superhero ones. And then Eloise got a tank top. I think this is actually Jax and Lennon, which is a, a really nice brand. I got smiley face jammies. Eloise got smiley faces. And lollipops. And lollipops. And the uh, starfish didn't really fit. Yeah, I got a couple things that didn't fit. We did try everything on, so these are a no-go. But everything else we are keeping. We are running out the door. We have to go to a birthday party tonight. So let's yeah. say bye. 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 The weather's been so nice that on Sunday, our backyard could hardly be seen. There was still so much snow and like piles of snow. Look at how much of our yard you can see. There's hardly any snow left, at least in our yard. The sun feels so good. We've been spending a decent amount of time outside. The kids have been doing a lot of playing outside. Then we might have a picnic lunch today, actually. It's like, it's, it's this nice outside. We've been cooped up inside for so long. Gotta take advantage of it. I have had the worst brain fog the last couple of days. Like, I cannot think clearly for the life of me. I can't concentrate on anything. I can't remember anything. It's really bad. And I suspect it's due to pregnancy. That's the most likely scenario. It's so bad that I've had to film this three times now and I cannot remember what I've said or what I was going to say or what I'm even trying to say or what like just I've given up on trying to do any kind of work, any kind of editing or filming because I just can't right now. And <laughs> I'm gonna try and just unplug for a minute. To be outside in the sunshine listening to the birds i'm gonna plant some seeds because i've been trying to get some seeds going so far i've been very unsuccessful but um I, i'm hoping i'm hoping i'll have some success yet because i want to have a successful garden and i really want to do it from seed 
I also suspect one of my kids is coming down with something, and if one kid's coming down with something, everybody's going to come down with that thing in the next couple of weeks, so... <sighs> We've done good. We've had a good long stretch of being healthy. We've been healthy for the last month and a half, and that is the longest we've been healthy this entire year, this entire winter, since November. And it's been awesome, but I mean, it's got to happen sooner or later, so I think it's happening now. So I'm just going to take a minute. I'm going to stop talking because my brain's not working. This probably doesn't even make any sense. That's a big reason why I've hardly picked up the camera this week at all. Like, it's already Friday. I've only vlogged a few times, and this is probably going to be the last time that I pick up the camera this week because it's just one of those weeks where I... I'm just not all there. And it's really hard to pick up the camera and uh, pretend like my brain's working to its full capacity when it's not, so... We're just gonna, let's just plant some seeds. Okay, now you gotta be gentle and wait. Oh. <laughs> I've been feeling some pretty significant movements today. Um, and this morning, this morning I did catch a couple kicks on camera. So it's so hard to catch it because as soon as you pull out the camera or as soon as you uh, get someone to put their hand on your belly, that's when baby stops moving every single time. But I've been feeling a lot of movements and um, yeah, I love it. Anyways, this is where I'm going to end the vlog. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Everybody say bye. Bye! -bye.